With a title like Zombie Ass, Toilet of the Dead, you pretty much know from the start what kind of movie you're going to get. And this movie makes no secret of the fact it firmly belongs in the large pool of silly, but very fun, Japanese schlocky horror films. Hi, I'm the Artie Dance from Asian Film Fans, and welcome to this remastered re-look of Toilet of the Dead. And oh yeah, you're in for a ride. To sum up the story, a group of teens travel to the forest in search of a trout with tapeworms. One of the members of the group is a model who wants to be thinner so she can land more jobs and is convinced this tapeworm is her ticket to fame. In this group is schoolgirl Megumi, who is racked with guilt over the death of her sister to bullies. She makes it her mission to keep the group safe. The story isn't too important though, because for 80 minutes you are entertained by zombies, parasites, tentacles, farting, naked schoolgirls, more tentacles, a flying queen parasite, and a farting jetpack. Only the Japanese could make a movie this ridiculous and get away with it. Then print it on a Blu-ray disc and sell it to the rest of the world to enjoy. Three different forms of cinema effects come together to take this movie on its crazy ride. There's the traditional makeup effects, with rubber tubes as parasites and thick water as blood. There's a bit of stop motion animation, probably thrown in for nostalgic purposes. And there's the modern CGI, because how else are we going to get those awesome farting effects and the end sequence with the flying parasite and jetpack? This is a so bad it's good movie, and that's good for a few reasons. One, cinema doesn't need to take itself so seriously. Not every film needs to be Citizen Kane, and when you consider how homogenous and safe the American film industry has become, it's great that the Japanese are still able to poke fun at themselves and make something like this. 2. The lead actress, played by Arisa Nakamura, is very cute. And for all the people out there hoping to catch a bit of skin, well you're in a bit of luck, but you'll need to watch the movie yourself to see that. 3. It's a different spin on zombies. While the head is still their weakness, in this movie the zombies are created by the parasite boring into the human host. And it seems that the parasite just loves the rear exit point of the body as its escape route. 4. There's actually some production values behind this film. For once, one of these silly Japanese horror films doesn't feel like a soap opera recorded on film in 30 frames. Rather, this is shot in beautiful HD digital at a proper cinema frame rate. You'd be surprised what this minor detail can do to the overall presentation of the film. It feels more cinematic and less low budget shot on video. But let's not kid ourselves, this is a low budget movie. On the flip side, there are some negatives with this film. The title is very misleading. The Toilet of the Dead is a very short, but admittedly crazy and fun, scene in the first part of the film. From then on, there are no more toilet zombies. There are a lot of story and continuity inconsistencies. For a film like this, it doesn't really matter but for those sensitive to that kind of thing, there are a few big issues like Megumi's backpack disappearing between scenes, Megumi knowing where Aya and Naoi are hiding, and the sudden reappearance of the crazy doctor at the end of the film. And depending on your take on this, some people might not be comfortable with the frequent sexualization of the cast. Although to be honest, if you've stuck around after you've just seen a zombie covered in shit, reach up from a hole in the floor to attack a girl sitting on a toilet, you'll probably stick around for anything this film will throw at you. In the end, this is just another tentacle film, wrapped up in a zombie storyline with a lot of farting. If that's your kind of thing, you're really going to love this film, but if the Shawshank Redemption is more along your movie tastes, you'll be wise to steer well away. I'm struggling to rate this, but since I actually enjoyed it, I'll give this a thumbs up. If you've seen it, what did you think? Thank you for watching this review. Please don't forget to press the like button and consider subscribing to support the channel.